Now, Superman came with a mission. For those of us who enjoyed our superheroes in our younger years, perhaps. And he was given the power to bring an inborn integrity from a higher, a higher consciousness planet than perhaps was going on here. But one thing he was not allowed to do, and that was to change the past. He was not allowed to fix the past, to rescue the past for any body or any situation. He couldn't turn the clock back. I know these things because I read them avidly. But what he was charged with, and I believe we are charged with, was to change the future, to intercede, get into that telephone booth, put on his cape and fly off to intercede and intervene on behalf of an embattled, adversarial, petty, cruel culture. We're in the same situation as beings of love. We have come to bring that intercessory presence of a higher order of being within ourselves, not some imaginary thing, as we all know, What's the nature of the elemental superpowers we bring? Well, this is the day of Pentecost, isn't it? And they were gathered together with him in the upper room, having spent days and days together in preparation for the possibility of abiding in a high place together. And suddenly there came upon them cloven tongues of fire and a mighty wind, as it's reported. And they had an experience of a greater free flow of cosmic power than they were wont to have known before. And the instruction they were given was, Abide in this place. Learn to be present in this living, invisible, now manifest reality of an elemental universe that carries enormous, enormous powers of creation. <laughs> 